In this module, you will learn about different types of animals. The sounds they make, where they live and what their young ones are called. You will also learn why plants and animals are important and the importance of treating animals with love and care. Tina is very excited today because she is visiting the zoo with her parents. Let's join them. Animals that live in water are called aquatic animals. I'll remember that. Mummy, look, so many fishes. Which ones are those? That one is a starfish. And that one is a crayfish. And there are some goldfish. How can fishes swim so well? Fishes have fins which help them to swim in water. Mummy, what do fishes eat? Fish eat plants and other fishes or sea creatures. They need balanced food which consists of proteins, fats, vitamins, minerals and carbohydrates. Most aquarium fish are fed ready-made food, which is in the form of flakes, pills, grains or granules. Mummy, what is that sound? That's the croaking of the frogs. Is frog a water animal? Look, it's a male lion. How did you know it's a male, Daddy? Male lions have a thick, dark mane. Shh! Let's not make noise. It is sleeping. Tina, do you know that lions sleep almost 20 hours a day and hunt at night? Daddy, where does it sleep when in the jungle? The home of a lion is called a den. They usually sleep in their den with their young ones called cubs. When it is dark, they come out of their dens to hunt other animals. Tina, look! The next cage has elephants. Mummy, the baby elephant looks so sweet. The young one of an elephant is called a calf. Elephants always move in a group known as a herd. What is the sound of an elephant called? A trumpet. Mummy, what does it eat? Elephants are vegetarians. They eat grass, shrubs, leaves, roots, barks, branches, fruits and water plants. Elephants use their tusks to tear bark off trees and to dig up roots and shrubs. They especially like to eat bamboo, berries, coconuts, corns, dates, plums and sugar canes. Mummy, the rabbits look so white, just like snow. They look so cute eating those carrots. Yes. Rabbits love to eat carrots and tree barks. Animals that eat plants and leaves are known as herbivores. Mummy, they have such long ears. Rabbits are timid animals. Their ears help them to hear sounds from far away and save themselves from other animals. Do you know? They can turn the ears in any direction. They also have big eyes and can even see behind themselves without turning their heads. What is the young one of a rabbit called? The young one of a rabbit is called a kitten, just as a cat's baby called. Look, one of them is hopping towards us. They can also jump and twist. Where do rabbits live? Rabbits live in a burrow or a hole. Mummy, look at that group of monkeys. A group of monkeys is called a troop. What are they speaking? Tina, 
Monkeys don't speak. They chatter. Do monkeys always live on trees? Monkeys live mostly on trees and sometimes on the ground. They enjoy hanging from tree tops. Look at that monkey hanging by its tail. They are very clever. If you give them a banana, they will peel the skin and then eat it. There is a crocodile in here. Mummy, doesn't a crocodile look like a big lizard? Yes, it does. And it's because both the crocodile and lizard are reptiles. Snakes and turtles also belong to the reptile family. Look at the snake's skin. The skin of reptiles is covered with scales. Tina, did you know that snakes have no legs? They don't walk. They crawl. Just like earthworms. That's right. Mummy, look at those colorful birds. Birds are lucky. They can fly so high. I wish I had wings too. It would be so much fun to fly in the sky. Come on, Tina. Let's see if you can name a few birds. Which bird is that? It is a pigeon. That's right. And that one? I don't know its name. Let me give you a clue. It sings beautifully. I know. It is the nightingale. Well done. And look at that bird. It is the miner. Mummy, how did you know? It is very famous for its dark brown color body and a bright yellow beak. I heard the sound of a cuckoo. Look, it's perched on a tree branch there. The cuckoo bird is also known as the singing bird. It has a long tail, pointed wings and a curved beak. The cuckoo is a migratory bird. Wow! I didn't know that. Mom, look at those birds on the tree. They are so colorful. Those are painted stalks. Why do you call them painted? Most of its body is white in color, but its wings and chest feathers have black and white markings. The color of the lower back, along with the legs, is light pink. The head of the painted stalks is only partly covered with feathers and is orange in color. Tina, look. There is a talking parrot. They are trained to talk like that. A talking parrot begins by mimicking human sounds and then they imitate human speech. Can we bring a parrot home as a pet? Pets need a lot of love and attention. When children have pets around, they often want to play. But we must be careful and not tease them by pulling their tails, twisting their ears, squashing or kicking them. It hurts them as much as it would hurt us. Tina, look, a peacock. The Indian peacock is the national bird of India. Daddy, look, there's a bird's nest. In this module, you will learn about different types of animals. The sounds they make, where they live and what their young ones are called. You will also learn why plants and animals are important and the importance of treating animals with love and care.